Hello everyone, this is Meredith and I wanted to make a video about my Hobonichi Weeks covers and kind of a talk through of what I have, two unboxings and thoughts, I guess. So um, as you may have seen in my previous videos, I am in a Hobonichi Weeks uh, cover that is a Moterm cover. And I have both my Hobonichi Weeks Mega and a cover from Lauren Phelps Designs um, and then a Planner Monkey Co. Freely Noted and a cover on cover as well for that. This is my reference book. Okay. However, I feel as though I would like to just have a home binder instead. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but for now, I carry both of these inside my week's cover together. And the Moterm fits it perfectly. Um, I don't have very much else inside this cover, um, except for like a tiny bit of stickers, my lucky $2 bill, and a gift card and a picture of me and my husband. Um, I like the Moterm cover because it's cheap-ish. Um, it's on the cheaper end of all the ones you'll see today. So I don't feel that I have to really take care of it that well, but it holds up against everything well anyway, so it's just so nice. It's very durable. Um, it fits what I want to in it. It lays flat. I hate the bookmarks, but most of them come with bookmarks. Um, and then it has so many different pockets, which I really don't utilize. And then a pen loop, which is not elasticized, which I do utilize sometimes, but the pen loop is not a break, make or break for me, um, because I usually have all my pens in a box that I carry around everywhere. So that's what I'm currently in. I also like that it's black. I have an all black and purple theme going on with like literally all of my planners here um so i kind of really like that vibe purple is my favorite color and black what i've learned about myself and a little bit too late is that i for some reason don't like brown or natural looking leather i mean i do on instagram like i look at all of the um the Instagram posts and I'm like oh my god that's so pretty but it's just not for me um this is the cocoa cream um on the Naya Papery cover I've never used this um it does look like it is used but it's not I've literally opened this just to do the um my unboxing video with and then I never used it so I'm kind of I'm not upset with it it's fine but it just really is lackluster to me and it's just not my style and I put an embossing on it because I was like I never do that and then I was like I should do that and then of course I don't like it so like there's nothing I can do about that now because nobody wants these initial embossings, most likely, unless you have those initials. Um, so I have this cover, and I'm probably going to have it forever. And maybe, you know, years from now, I'll be like, oh, yeah, this is great. But probably not. So, anywho. Okay, so for the two unboxings, one is the Moterm and one is a Giulio. Um We'll start with the Moterm. I snatched up a vegetable tan Moterm in the color Apricot and just like I was saying with this one <laughs> I don't I don't know what's wrong with me but I just don't like naturally colored leather I it's just something I found out about myself when I when I took this out of its bag I have not used this either um this does have an elasticized pen loop um unlike the pebbled Moterm one. So as you can see, it's the same layout, same size, um, same everything, except for the pin loop is elasticized here, and everything else is like exactly the same. I have not used this because, again, it's just like, 
it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my style. And I fell into the FOMO of everyone wanting a vegetable tan leather. Um, and I don't know why I did that. I have it now. Cool. I will probably sell it. <laughs> um, also, the leather's not, like, it's cool and all. And, like, it definitely feels more real and authentic than the pebbled leather. But I really don't care that much. Like, these are things that I'm just learning about myself as I, you know, like, talk through this. Um, so I'll probably be selling this. Uh, so for now, it's just going to live in its... Well, I'm going to keep this out, actually, for the next one. Okay, so we have these three now. Um, for size comparison, these two are the same, so I'm just going to use the black no term. So for the Naya Papery size comparison... They are pretty much the same size. Um, I did not get a back pocket on here. The Moterm is about half the price as the Naya Papery. I do like the idea of two secretarial pockets, but I don't know. I just really like the Moterm better than this one. And height comparison, the Moterm is a tad bigger, or tad, just a smidge taller. So, does this have the cover on cover? Or can it? Can I put the cover on cover in here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not a fan. I also don't think I like the pen loop down here, but maybe I don't care. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so then, last but not least, um, a month, over a month ago, a month and a week, so like five weeks ago, I ordered, um, a Jillio, and you'll see a theme here. I have not opened this one. This is the Cortado. Um, I do like Crackle leather. I know that about myself. I have a charcoal um, Crackle leather from Jillio, and then I have a Crackle leather from BDS. And I do like it because I feel like it stands up to wear and tear butter it has an interesting smell to it but as you see what am i thinking well what i was thinking with the corta cortado was that it was cheap honestly but it was like half the price of the rest of them um but this is the Gilio, and it has the same layout almost basically um as the Moterm? Let's see. Let's get out the veg tan. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger than the Moterm, which I like. Um, and then it's the exact same height, it looks like, as the Moterm. And then, as you see, very similar pocket configuration here. And then on this side, the Giglio has a zip, whereas the Moterm just has this open flap here. They both have pin loops, elasticized. See the Giglio pins in there from it being open. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Like, it's the color for me. I don't know what, again, I, what I was thinking with this. Though, I do like that it is bigger. Take these out for a second. I do like that it is bigger. Um, how do I have this in here? Let's squeeze this in. Sorry if you see my cat walking around. I have four pets and a baby and it's a little chaotic in this house. Okay. Let's see if I can squeeze this in. Ooh, what? This isn't gonna fit. No way. Okay, so with the, oops. Where are you at there? Okay, so the Planet Monkey Co. I mean, maybe if you really stretched it out, it would fit in there, but it does not fit. Um, you can slide it into this little pocket though. Which 
doesn't bother me. And then it is a very snug close, but it does close. I wonder if I took this pin out, if it would be better. Well, yeah. So I do like the feel of it closed, but why, why do I have three brown tan Hobony Two Weeks planners? Mm -hmm. A waste of money. A waste of $100, a waste of $60, and a waste of like $150. Like $300 right here that I just like feel like I wasted. I get I can sell these too. And I might keep them for a while, you know? Like maybe my style will change. But it hasn't in years. So the chances of that happening are very low. Um... I just really like the look of a black planner better. I'm out of the three of these. I would say that I like the Julio the most. Um, and it's made beautifully. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It fits both. Well, kind of. It doesn't really fit the cover on cover of the Planner Monkey Co. Freely Noted. But if I took the cover on cover off, it would fit the actual notebook fine. But the cover for the Freely Noted, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a lot of extra like wiggle room at the top and the bottom. So it's like bigger than the Hobonichi Weeks. And I just got this matte black, black, blue, something pen here from Julio. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with any of these planners, and I hope seeing the Moterm Julio and an eye paper re comparison was helpful for you. I'm more so disappointed in myself because I should know better, um, but I didn't. And then, last but not least, I had. <laughs> oh. I cannot help myself, but I ordered a VDS. But the VDS is not in this color. Hold on. It is. Uh, okay. Sorry, I had to grab it. I have a VDS in a Nero Croco, and I am obsessed with this planner. But this is a beast. I got it customized to fit a. Um, Hobonichi Cousin and Astology in here, and so this puppy is gigantic, um, and it's an A5, so right now I, ha I have my, my journal, my two journals, and then a book in here. I have like a self-development marriage journal, and then like just my journal journal. So all of these are housed in here. I love it, love it, love it, love it, but I'm not in A5 right now. So, well, other than my journals. So that's what I'm using this for. But for my EDC, it is the Hobonichi Two Weeks. So I basically copied this. I got the contrast stitching Nero Croco um, from BDS in a Hobonichi Two Weeks size. And I widened and, or widened and lengthened it and increase the clasp a little bit to fit to make sure it fit both the Hobonichi Weeks and the Freely Noted without being like really scrunched in there. Um, even in the Gilio, it fits kind of, but it's a little bit tight. I mean, it would work. And then I'm probably going to regret that too because I'm probably going to get a home binder and then I won't even want this companion notebook in there. But I've already decided that <laughs> it, I will probably buy the Sterling Ink companion notebook that is, um, and just have a notebook. But I don't really like writing notes in the Hobonichi Week size. I feel like it's just so skinny and I love writing notes in my common planner the b the b6 size is just the perfect size for me i'm not getting a cover for my b6 watch that be a lie in like a couple months because i can't help myself but i i 
I don't know. I don't really feel like getting a cover for my B6. I actually enjoyed that there's not a cover on it. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave it like that and see what happens. Um, so you'll probably see me selling at least these two at some point. I'm kind of stuck with this one, which I'm just kicking myself for. But you never know. Like I said, I'll just keep it. Maybe one day I'll be like, oh, I want to use that again. But for now, here's the comparison between the four of them. There's nothing wrong with any of them. They all have their strengths and the Jillio's the biggest. Um, these three, the Moterm and the Jillio, come with a back pocket. And then the Pebble Leather is the cheapest. And then the Vetch Tan. And they all are great quality. It's a fur. I feel like the Naya Papery is just okay quality to me. I mean, the stitching is fine. But, I mean, it came looking like this. And I get, like, it could just be, like, the leather, but, like, I feel like maybe, I don't know, wearing gloves might be helpful or something. I don't know. I don't want to hate on anyone either. So, all right, I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to let y'all go. But thank you for coming to my TED Talk, <laughs> and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.